look down, look all around. Up in the air or on the ground. Come for a walk, come for a ride. There's so much to see, so come outside. We are perfect for drawing and colouring in, with so many colours to choose from. We're perfect for writing your favourite words. Keep us sharpened and ready to use. What are we? We're pencils. Pippin, sit still. Hello, my dears. I'm trying to draw Pippin's picture, but she keeps moving. Now sit still, Pippin. Pippin, I think you need a walk. You're very restless. And it's time I bought a new pencil. <laughs> we'll go to the stationery shop. Come on. they are. What a lot of pencils. Did you know there are different sorts of pencils? Some make light, thin lines on the paper. Others make dark, thicker lines. I need one that makes dark lines. This one, I think. Ever wondered where pencils come from? We'll go and find out. Thank you. Pippin, it's time to fly. which has big hills and lakes. So look out for a lake full of water, Pippin. Can you see a lake, Pippin? Yes. Here we are. Look how the land dips in the middle, with hills on both sides. It's called a valley. And that's where we're going. Something happened here 500 years ago. And if it hadn't happened, there might never have been any pencils. It all began here, in the valley we call Seathwaite. There were two brothers, Thomas and John. They were shepherds and they each owned a flock of sheep. Every day their sheep would feed together in the grassy valley. One day, John noticed a sheep had wandered off. Thomas, he said, one of your sheep is up in the hills. You'd better go and fetch her back. That isn't my sheep, said Thomas. That's one of yours. You'd better go and fetch her back. Then they began to argue. You see, the problem was they couldn't tell one sheep from another. 
they all looked the same. That night, there was a terrible storm. Next morning, on the side of the hill, Thomas and John saw an old tree had been torn from the ground by the fierce wind. And there, under its roots, they saw what looked like coal. They always needed coal to make a fire to keep themselves warm and cook their food. So Thomas and John dug up as much as they could carry. When they got it home, they tried to light it. But it wouldn't burn. This isn't coal, said John. What is it? Then Thomas noticed his hands were dark grey. And he said, I don't know what it is, but I know what we can use it for. He went out into the valley where the sheep were feeding. And he marked half of them with a cross. Now, John, he said, the sheep I've marked are mine and the rest are yours. So from then on, they knew who owned which sheep and they never argued about it again. The shepherds didn't know it, but they discovered a special sort of rock called graphite. It was very good at making marks which didn't come off easily. Very soon, tunnels were dug deep into the hills and they began to dig up the graphite. You can still see up there on the hillside where they used to dig for graphite. I wonder what it was like in those tunnels. they used to work in the underground tunnels, chipping away at the rock to dig out the graphite. Oh, whatever next? Well, once they dug up the graphite, people started using it for writing, and we still use it today. This is a factory where they use graphite to make pencils. Come on, Pippin. There's some graphite. It's being crushed and mixed with clay. When it's ready, the graphite and clay mixture is put into a machine where it's squeezed and squashed into this round shape. It's called a billet. The billet goes into a machine which squeezes and squashes it even more and cuts it up into hundreds of very thin strips. The strips are put into a hot oven to dry out. They stay there for three hours. Then they're soaked in hot wax. The wax will make them write smoothly, so they won't tear the paper. And there it is. But this doesn't look like a pencil. No, 
it needs a wooden jacket. So the graphite strips are glued onto pieces of wood. Another piece of wood is glued on top, making a sandwich. Then the sandwich is cut up. And now they look like pencils. Then they're painted. These pencils are having yellow jackets painted on. They're all sharpened, like these green-coloured pencils. And then they're ready to use. What a lot of colours! Thank you, goodbye! Pippin's got a souvenir. Show us, Pippin. It's a piece of graphite. It looks like one of the very first pencils ever used. And I've bought a set of coloured pencils so we can go home and finish Pippin's picture in colour. What a busy day, Pippin. There are so many things to do with pencils. Practice writing letters nice and neatly. Choose your favourite colours for a picture. Like a monster with purple hands and feet, we shall always remember the things we've seen today. Pencils made of graphite and pencils made of clay. You could all write a letter to Pippin. Don't forget to write it nice and clearly. Use your coloured pencils for a border. Try not to make a smudge. Oh dear. We shall always remember the things we've seen today. Pencils made of graphite and pencils made of clay. Pippin, what are you doing? It's your picture. Well, I think it looks very nice. I'll write your name on it. Pippin. Pippin. <laughs>